Hello, today I will make a demonstration of the concept of the Lorentz force, which is responsible for the working of all kinds of electric motors. For that I made this little contraption, but before I explain how it works, let's remember the concept of the Lorentz force. If we have an electric current flowing in a conductor and that conductor is immersed in a magnetic field, then the conductor will feel a force, which is the Lorentz force, in a direction that is perpendicular to both the current and the magnetic field. The nature of this force is such that if we change the direction of the electric current, the force will also change direction. And the same will happen if we change the direction of the magnetic field. In order to test the presence of the Lorentz force, I made this setup. We have a scale here and these two neodymium magnets. In the middle of the magnets, we will have a strong magnetic field. And here we have a conductor on this wooden base. And when we put the conductor in the middle of the magnets, it does not touch the magnets nor the wooden base or the scale. The power supply is connected to the conductor and when a current flows, the conductor will feel a force upwards or downwards depending on the direction of the current and the direction of the magnetic field. But due to Newton's third law, when the conductor feels a force upwards, the magnets will feel the same force downwards and this will be registered by the scale as a gain in weight. Similarly, if the conductor feels a force downwards, the magnets will feel a force, the same force, upwards, and this will be registered as a loss of weight. I'm going to turn on the scale and also the power supply at one amp. And we can see how the scale registers an extra weight of 0.3 grams. If we now increase the current to 2 amps, now we have an extra weight of 0.6 grams. And of course with 3 amps we will have 0.9 of extra weight. Let's return to 1 amp and Let's see, if we invert the direction of the current, I'm going to flip the connections. Now we have a loss of weight, which is seen as a negative weight. And also, if we invert the direction of the magnetic field, Again, the force changes direction and is now positive. Thanks for visiting my channel. I hope you liked this demonstration.